What's up Sim Racers, Larry, TJR Sim here and today we're going to talk about the next level racing V3 motion rig, the latest version update uh, 2.79. I don't see a lot of people talking about as far as uh, updates go for the Sim rigs that they particularly use. You know, a lot of people just do their initial review uh, on YouTube to, you know, just let you know that uh, what they have is, is how it's working and and what they like and dislike, you know, a common typical review, right? Uh, but not a lot of uh, returning updates as far as is it still working, you know? And it's, it's face it, it's a lot of money to spend on a motion rig. So you want to have the warm and fuzzies that uh, the motion rig that you do actually pick is going to be there for the long haul. Not only will it run the games that you currently love playing, but it, it, it's going to be there for the new games that you don't even know you want yet and so it seems like next level racing has continually uh kept up with the times in my opinion i even contacted them recently about the uh forza horizon 4 so yep that's coming as well because you know right now we have uh scroll on down just to show let's pop it open so you can actually see things better but right now we have Forza Horizon uh, 7, right? Which is awesome. Love it. Uh, this game is, is so much more reinvented or, or just so much more immersive uh, with motion than it was without motion. Because, you know, really your wheels can only pick up so much information. It doesn't pick up the yaws. It, it, you know, it didn't pick up when you're under braking that you're you're being pushed forward and acceleration and the curbing and you know all that stuff so picks up a little bit of curbing obviously but uh to feel your body move from curbing uh it definitely makes you uh reevaluate your lines when you're racing so uh because that upsets your chassis and you literally feel that you upset your chassis so kind of for example for y'all uh non-motion people out there I am definitely blessed to have motion uh, right now, so I'm loving it, enjoying it. But wanted to uh, give you some updates on it. So let's let's dive into it real quick here. So first update came was a set of course with competition added support for this game. Awesome! I was actually using um, a set of Corsa already. I actually just called one a set of a set of CC GT3. And was running that configuration and uh, ACC actually picked up uh, this configuration and was running fine uh, but now of course we have the competition uh, I don't know why it makes me want to say that funny but <laughs> it's uh, it's there well where are you at okay where are you going where are you going where are you going right there there it is so that's there uh, it is obviously with the motion VR is already integrated because uh, you know this game is going to have VR as well so that's already put in so you don't have to worry about when VR gets updated I believe the 10th of this month uh, four more days uh, then that uh, you'll be ready right so as far as the headway uh, VR goes uh, tactile is there it does support it and awesome so you get the rumble effects of your engine and all that actually set of course is actually pretty fun because when you set your uh, ignition to a toggle switch like on your DSD box or something like that and then you know start your car you know you hear the fuel pump go on and you hit start and then all of a sudden your transducers kick in from the vibration of the car and then you rev it and you're, you're you know you're getting the bounce off the rev limiter effect if you have it clicked here so it's rev on motion I don't have it clicked uh, I must have turned it off for some reason but anyway uh you know you have that on as well so anyway it's, it's just a lot of fun guys all right let's dive in here uh further city car driving uh enterprise edition added support for motion platforms only enterprise edition provides telemetry api i don't even know about this game here it almost seems like a a, a simulator that was that's used at a company or something you know but uh, maybe it's on steam i'll have to check it out F1 2018 is the next one that added support. So F1 2018 was already there, uh, you know, for a while. But I guess there were some issues because it was not working for me. I even contacted uh, Next Level Racing, Racing about it. They're so cool. They they sent me like a beta uh, that they were working on to get me going until the final release came out. So 
you know, don't be afraid to contact these guys. I mean, they're enthusiasts. They, they love this stuff, apparently, because, you know, they, they send you out beta forms of, of what they got going on. So uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So anyway, uh, that is now updated. It's working uh, perfectly fine. F1 2018 was not really a game I was going to get, but since I saw that it, motion was working uh, on it, and I enjoyed F1 2017 so much, I was like, well, let me just try it out and see. And uh, sure enough, I do like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, digress. Firmware updates. This is probably an update to make sure all this stuff works. Forza 7 uh, added, enabled a loopback communication in Windows Firewall. All right. And then uh, added support for the latest dashboard protocol. So they actually had a, a an update in Forza 7. So... You know, the nice thing about it is you're not left hanging. You know, you see this stuff gets updated, right? So as the game updates, the, you know, the, the next level racing updates their software to work for it, you know? Uh, so they even had something like here, if you have having problems with here, click here. You know, this tells you what to do. This tells you the settings to run in game and then an alternative solution. I happen to have to run the alternative solution. So I was grateful that this was here. And uh, within here, going to the repair, following the instructions that it gives you, which is, you know, as clear as day, I uh, came over here and I actually noticed Forza Horizon 4 demo and Forza Horizon 4. So I contacted them to see if that's coming as well, because it certainly appears like it is. Sure enough, it is coming, so cannot wait for that to hit. Uh, definitely will be buying uh, FH4 when the motion gets to it because honestly guys and gals that there's two tick boxes in my mind that has to be checked at least one of them has to be checked for me to buy your racing game and that is either vr support or motion support uh, if it doesn't have one of those two i don't want you so uh, forza horizon i'll get it uh, when that comes out i even hit them up in the forums hey when are you going to release this on other twitter feeds and stuff uh, release the motion for us motion people to enjoy your game. I don't really want to spoil the game. I, I played the demo. Demo was great. We're great with my fanatic uh, club sport V2 wheel and V3 pedals. So I do like it. But uh, I won't spoil the game for myself until I get the motion. <laughs> I want the full effect. Anyway, let's digress. Uh, general backup profiles configurations on save so that's a thing now um, I don't really know what that entails to be honest with you but it did get me thinking and I was like you know what can I export these out you know and I'd seen it there before but I went ahead and tried it and sure enough yeah you can export your files out save them off onto your hard drive that way if you do have a computer crash or you were like me and I built a new computer I could export all these and import them in because let's face it on this motion stuff you can spend hours making adjustments uh, per car. I mean look at all these cars I have for just Forza 7 uh, you can spend a lot of time uh, modifying your your stuff so it's great to be able to save it so that's a little a little tip for you there and you can share it so if you're interested in some of my stuff that I have you want to try out some of my settings DM me and I'll email it to you. I, of course, won't share your email address with anybody because I just don't do that. And uh, But I will send you the information that I have that you may be interested in or that you're asking for. All right, so uh, general level calibration and hardware configuration move to devices window. Looks like devices window here, and we got this configuration level calibration here. So that's moved over there. That is great. Uh, if you don't know what this center thing is, this is let's say your game uh, locks up on you and you're on the banking at Daytona, right? And uh, <laughs> your seat is cocked over to the far left, which is you know pretty hard to use uh, after your game crashes. Well, you go ahead and control alt delete your game, and you come over here and hit center it, and it'll recenter your seat. So that's working. Uh, well, it's always worked. Uh, but I have noticed I have had some little issues at, at times, uh, but it works fine for me now. So maybe that update fixed it as well. Uh, no, lim no limits to roller coaster improved roll pitch in y'all calculation. I have not loaded that on this game. I actually do enjoy that one. My kids love it. 
And uh, <laughs> they are just giggling little girls uh, when they get on this roller coaster game. So I'm going to have to load this up and check it out. Uh, actually, just let them check it out for me. So OpenVR SDK updated. A uh, couple little fixes there. So it's awesome because I love VR. Also, I'll skip the tech talk. See, uh, also VR Headway uh, is added for this game here. Fairy Dashy and Radical G, which is great as well. If you have those games, I'm sure you're liking that Headway VR, uh, keeping it from, you know, getting jacked up on you. But the big one here, I think, is the tactile feedback added dual card mode. I've been wanting that for a while. I'm sure others have too. So now this is basically like running SimVibe software from Sim Experience, uh, but all built into to the next level racing rig. So if you come over here to Tactile Feedback Communications, you will see two slots here. So two sound cards. So now we got two sound cards, which is awesome uh, because I was at one time running SimVibe for my second set of transducers and uh, of course just the initial sound card for the four transducers because I have eight transducers. Well, that's great until you run into a game like Forza Motorsport 7 where SimVibe literally uses the exact same channel as Next Level Racing because they only have you know, a data output I, uh, IDC or I forget what it's called but anyway the data output on it is the same uh, channel that SimVibe would use <laughs> or our motion rig would use. So you couldn't use, run both programs uh, together. So you couldn't, you know, that you, that's just how it was, right? So now that we have a second sound card, I'm able to enable all my other four transducers into the mix, uh, running two sound cards, which is awesome. All right, so what you got here, if you scroll on down, you know, you got all these options, but uh, as far as what the outputs to enable and stuff, but you'll see device number one mapping and device number two. So, you know, the sound card, the sound card that you apply here and another sound card that you apply here. Great stuff, guys. So happy the Next Level Racing added that. Uh, not only uh, it fixes the issue that I was having with Forza 7, but it's one less program I have to be running in the background using up my CPU power, uh, especially when you're running VR. It's very taxing on your computer, and one less program you got to have running in the background, the better. So anyway, uh, that is it for the updates I'll continually uh, try to update y'all when there's some big stuff being added uh, so I thought this one was definitely worth the video because you know to me a set of Corsa uh, era ACC is an awesome game and uh, a lot of sim racers been looking forward to that so that tab uh, is added now uh, and of course now you got the and the other big one is the uh, um, tactile feedback for shifts for Forza 7 and the tactile feedback as far as a dual sound card goes uh, is another big one. Th those three are great. The other stuff is kind of fixes in the backgrounds for people that had issues with things. Uh, so awesome that they're addressing all of that. Anyway, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about it. Uh, VR system that you're, or VR system, the motion rig that you're running, do they continually update and stuff? Uh, if they do, you sh and you have a YouTube channel, you should, you know, do some videos on it and uh, let people know that, hey man, this this stuff is getting updated. I am sticking with the latest and greatest uh, video games uh, for my sim rig. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. As I said again, I will see you on the track. Have fun. I'm out.